it's oh, it's perfect. It's just so soft. And breaking away, taking out my onion. But, uh, just going to turn on the stove. And just let it cook uncovered, um, just so the 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 water goes away. So now I'm just going to mash it. it looks like I don't even have to put in um, too much effort, which is great. Because some people think this is the hardest bit. There we go. I mean, so can you see? This is what it's doing, and this is the sort of effect you want to get, the shredded effect. As far as I'm concerned, based on the fact that this was my first attempt, I think um, we've got what we want here. That's great, isn't it? So the only thing that was missing from this is the bones, you know. It's normally cooked on the bones, but this is it effectively what they want. There's some nice pieces of fat there. Just gonna fish those out. Don't really need that. There is the final result and I'm very pleased with how it's turned out. I've decided to make some polenta. Um, as you can see, polenta. I'll just show you what I'm going to make to accompany it because, you know, it's a special meal all in celebration of independence. This is something that can be had at weddings. All I've done is simply chopped up some butternut, uh, put a bit of salt, uh, one teaspoon of sugar, a bit of butter, and some cinnamon sticks and just put it in the oven. Um, and this is just a variation to, to my other video on how to make lapuzzi. Um, but this is the, the, the no mess, no fuss, hands free version. So I'm just going to put that in the oven. And what I've made here, I'll be making like um, just a green bean and broccoli salad, which um, I'll be dressing with. This is a dressing made with uh, Dijon mustard, a bit of olive.